said. Item number one is a resolution thanking Fire Director Alvin Benson for <coughs> his service to the community as he retires from City of Memphis government. Ms. Halbert. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Memphis City Council, we have uh, the honor of saying farewell, although he'll only be across the street, to Director Benson. Whereas Alvin Benson is an exemplary citizen who is worthy of recognition <coughs> for numerous years of service to the community, but most especially his 27 years with the City of Memphis Fire Department. And whereas Edward Croker, a fellow fire chief from New York City said, when a man becomes a fireman, his greatest act of bravery has been accomplished. What he does after that is all in the line of work. And whereas Alvin Benson, who was appointed as director of the Memphis Fire Department on July 15, 2008, accepted the responsibility <coughs> to lead an amazing group of men and women with the goal of making the division one of the best in the country. And whereas under Director Benson's expert leadership, the Memphis Fire Department has seen the addition of multi-purpose apparatus, enhanced pre-hospital care, state-of-the-art computer-aided <coughs> dispatch, and the completion of a major restru restructuring that created greater efficiencies and reduced costs without jeopardizing public safety. And whereas one of his proudest accomplishments was the record low fire fatalities of seven in 2013, which attests to his commitment and persistence to ensure the citizens of Memphis were safe. Whereas Alvin holds a master's degree in business administration and a bachelor's degree in fire administration, fire prevention technology, he has utilized his knowledge, skills, and abilities to teach other firefighters as an adjunct instructor and is active in local, state, and national organizations designed to enhance fire service. Whereas Alvin's talents go beyond his firefighting abilities, he is known for his melodic singing voice, which many of us have had the opportunity to experience, and whereas Director Benson will certainly be missed by his colleagues as he embarks on a new journey as the fire chief for Shelby County. And whereas his wife, Audrey, their four children, and one grandchild are proud of his accomplishments and devotion to ensuring the safety of all of us. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Memphis City Council extends best wishes to Director Alvin Benson as he retires as the leader of the Memphis Fire Department. Be it further <coughs> resolved that the council thanks Director Benson for a job well done through his dedication and commitment to make Memphis the city of choice to live, work, and play. Congratulations. It's been moved by Ms. Halper, seconded by Mr. Morrison. All those in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? The ayes have it. She said it just like I wrote it up. So that's, uh, that's, that's very good. No, I am, I am so thankful to this body, and I'm just honored to have been able to uh, serve as director and to serve the, the Memphis Fire Department almost 28 years. It has really been a true honor, and I applaud this body, and I appreciate this body for the support that you've always given to the fire department and public safety. I think I've, uh, I've tried to make the case, and you have responded in kind. And uh, I do appreciate that, and I know this department appreciates that. So I uh, just want to say thanks. Thanks to you, thanks to, to the mayor, to uh, for everyone for giving us an opportunity to, to serve. So I'm uh, I'm honored and uh, very appreciative. I'll be across the street, and uh, so and I mean not changing my phone number, so it'll be the same. You can call <laughs> me. Thank you, uh, Director. Just a second, Mr. Harris. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. So I just wanted to say thank you to Director Benson for his service. I think uh, you have managed one of our most important city assets and managed it very ably. And not only that, you've been able to play the politician <laughs> from time to time, at least in the sense of balancing a lot of very different interests, uh, the administration and the community interests and managing the council. I've seen you in community meetings. I've seen you take a lot of fire and a lot of heat. 
uh, but you've been able to balance a lot of that and get things done. And on your watch, I'm proud to say all of our fire stations are open. Uh, and so I think that is a great, uh, you know, a great um, uh, piece of, of your history. And so we we're glad to have you and thank you for your service. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Before we get to the other council members, Mayor Warden. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, for allowing me to speak. I simply wanted to take this opportunity to publicly express my gratitude to Director Benson for his service. These, uh, uh, as Councilman Harris alluded to, have been some particularly rough times, uh, but he has led <coughs> our department uh, through those rough times uh, with distinction. Uh, we know full well that it's difficult meeting the competing demands that are imposed on us financially and otherwise. Uh, but through all of that, he brought this department to nationwide recognition. I think it was last year uh, at the paramedic uh, force of the year, not just in this state, when the insurance standards office came in and rated us. Uh, they gave him just superb ratings uh, for the work that he has done in our department. Additionally, as someone mentioned, he has been so active in the community, both in the faith-based community. Whenever we had a charitable uh, activity, he was always there. He's going to be sorely missed. I know a little bit about the job that he's taken over now. I don't know how he's going to keep up uh, over there. It's, it's just going to drive him crazy over there, but uh, I'm sure he will, do, he will do well, and we wish him and his entire family the best. Thanks for allowing me to speak. Uh, Mr. Conrad. Thanks, Chairman Strickland. Just quickly, I just wanted to thank uh, Director Benson. Um, you know, these are these have been tough times in, uh, in city government, and uh, you've just done a great job and uh, always enjoyed working with you and uh, wish you well, and thank you for all your uh, great service to this great city and our citizens. Thank you. Ms. Fuller. Thank you so very much, Mr. Chairman. Just very briefly, Director, you... Uh, are a person certainly with character, a person of integrity, and you uh, never allowed them to see you sweat when I knew there were many times that you were perspiring. But I know that you're going to do well in the county because you did an excellent job here. And your predecessor, your successor, I'm sure he's going to do just as well. Congratulations, and God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Morrison. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. First, I want to thank Councilman Halbert for recognizing you, Director. You have done a fantastic job. Um, I appreciate the ability you and I have had over the years to communicate through cell phones, sitting in parking lots, talking about the meeting coming up and what we needed to do. But I also appreciate your transparency and frankness with the community. You, you never held back. You, you told the community what was going to happen. You stood by that. You stood with us, with me, in community meetings. Um, you stood, represented this city, represented this department. We're very proud of what the work you've done. We know you're going to bring that honor and pride to Shelby County, but you will be deeply missed here. And, and again, I just want to give you a personal thanks because Countrywood, Raleigh Community Council, wherever we went, <coughs> you, you stood the ground and, and were very frank, honest, and, and really represented the transparency of government when we were doing budget things that were going to affect communities. So thank you for that, Director. Mr. Brown. Thank you. Director Benson, um, I truly would like to say that uh, job well done. Your diplomacy dealing with public safety as a fire director for this great city of Memphis was excellent. Your conduct as a fire director was excellent. Your technical skills and know-how as a fire director was excellent for this great city of Memphis. Surely you're going to be missed. But it's one thing that I knew about you. You were consistently training your staff, your lieutenants, your majors, your captains, your deputy chiefs, to get them prepared for the transition that at some time or some day was going to take place. You did an excellent job. You're leaving this city with a great record. Your record is impeccable. Nobody can change that. One thing, another thing I want to say is that and I tell future fire directors and fire directors, future police chiefs, future anybody that's going to have a position with the city of Memphis, I like the way that you're a family man, that you were really, dearly, truly to family. That's what